All right, and let's go ahead and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Bear, and welcome to the channel where today we're playing some Dave the Diver. Now, this is a game that's been on my wish list for quite a long time, and for those of you who don't know about Dave the Diver, we've been wrong this whole time for putting it off on our wish list for as long as we have. I bought this game over on the Steam Autumn Sale. I'll put a link in the description for it because you need to go over there and purchase the game if you don't already have it. If you're into several things, randomized, procedurally generated maps, and just fun games. I'm not even just, I'm just gonna blanket it. This is a fun game. And if you're on the fence about it, you won't be on the fence about it after you watch this video. So if you like the video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. So what is Dave the Diver exactly? Well, it has a little bit of everything. It has a little bit of um, management sim, uh, Metroidvania type gameplay, roguelite-ish elements, and it's just like a, a really fun, relaxing game. Uh, so we play Dave, he is a diver. He was coerced into his friend, uh, by his friend Cobra over here on the boat with us into helping him open up a sushi restaurant over a hole called just the Big Blue Hole that randomly changes every single day. That is just a facet of the hole. You go in there, you find fish, you find ingredients, you find different things to craft other things. You take them back to your sushi restaurant at night and you serve patrons at the bar. That sounds boring. I can guarantee you it's actually extremely fun. And the humor in this is amazing. The cutscenes, the show, I can't skip a single one of them, not because I don't want to, or because I want to, but because they are so good, you're never going to want to skip them. This game is just amazing. So, uh, first things first, we're about to dive in the water to go fishing for some stuff. As you can tell right there in the top left hand corner of our uh, screen, uh, we have a quest right now. We're looking for a microphone and find the sea people tablet. I've actually put a couple of hours into this. I actually found out there's mermaids at the bottom of the, the ocean and we have a guy who's actually helping us locate them and we wanna figure out how they speak and what they're speaking to us because they speak a different language. Uh, in order to reach those different depths, we can actually go in here and as we run our business, we can actually upgrade different facets of Dave from the harpoon gun to help us fish to how much weight he can carry at a time, how far he can go underwater, and how long he can breathe on a tank. Uh, we can also get different weapons that we can craft. Um, you start off with a basic underwater rifle fairly on early in the game, but you can find random weapons littered around. After you found a certain weapon a certain amount of times by picking it up, you can then uh, craft it using our friend right here. I can't remember his name. Duff. His name is at the top of the screen. Durr. And uh, yeah. So... Let's go jump into it and you'll get kind of a, you know, idea of what the game is about. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. Dave's gonna go in there and he controls rather well for a big dude. Oh, look, a spider crap. I haven't run into one of those yet. I will say the controls are something that you definitely have to get used to, but there's so many little check boxes this game clicks really well. And the music is also really good. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy this track. It plays pretty much every single time. I just love that beat. I'm going to go ahead and open up this chest and that is going to give us a shock bang stick. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and I'm also going to go ahead and can we I'm actually going to hold on a second I'm going to tweak the audio ever so slightly. Maybe the music is just a little too bombastic. That feels a little bit better. Let's tweak that just a bit and we're going to keep going, going down. As we're going down, we can collect all numbers of fish. We have at our disposal a harpoon gun. We have a rifle to deal with uh, non-savory and, uh, you know, fish that want to attack us and maybe need a little bit more damage done to them. Look, we found a random gun kit that will increase the damage of our rifle to level two. And right now, my goal is to try to dive down to find out if we can find the microphone there was a checklist on the screen just now. These fish right here, for instance, these are hostile. They have little red diamonds over the screen. I am actually going to opt to harpoon these. You hold down X in order to aim. You press R2 to pull the trigger. And then you press X repeatedly if you want to try to haul them in and they're putting up a fight. The strong, yeah, look, we actually knocked out a little quest there. We'll show that whenever we get back onto the boat. 
I'm not exactly sure where this microphone is, FYI. Oh, there's like a, a thingy here. I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what that is eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up all these seashells. Everything, uh, as, as soon as you get further into the game, you'll start unlocking uh, different facets that check different boxes and whatnot. So you got an O2 tank here. It refills half your oxygen whenever you pop that. Oh, what is this? What's with that strange coral? Oh, that's a little octopus. Hey, little octopus. He seems friendly. Oh no, he inked us. Maybe he's not so friendly. Well, uh, that octopus, it sprayed me with ink. Just wait till I catch you, here I come. Oh. Oh, okay. So, uh, chase the annoying octopus. Where are we gonna chase it to? Is he gonna go to that door that we were just looking at? You can actually sprint in this game or swim faster, but as you sprint, it uses more oxygen. Huh, I finally caught up. You stay right. He's gonna pop up behind that door, isn't he? He is. Oh no, it escaped through a door crack. Um, I don't think I can fit in there. Come to think of it, I could probably use the gas cutter from Duff to cut my way in. Just you wait, octopus. So we did get a gas cutter. And there's a couple of things. We've actually fought like the first major boss and all sorts of things. You unlock our sorts of weapons. This is a mini game where we actually weld this. You just hold the R2 button and then you follow the circle. There's a lot of mini games like this in the game. I'm gonna be honest, all of them are done exceptionally well. I haven't actually found a single part of this game that I don't enjoy. It's like they tune this game specifically for me. And this is like it. This is this is this mini game. It's as easy as it gets. And boom. All right. So that wall is gone. Want to go to the new region? Yes, we'll go to the new region. Let's check out something new. What is that down there? You, you got nowhere to run now. Give up. I guess I'll have octopus sashimi for dinner. He just went through another hole. I don't think we're going to be following through there. Uh, I escaped again. It's so, it's so quick. But what is that? Okay. Dropped something. We have rusty octopus bracelet. It seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. So throughout the game, you'll find different charms. You can have up to two of them equipped. Uh, oh, here's a clam. If we open this, we'll get uh, our oxygen topped off. Not that we needed it, per se. Uh, but uh, these different charms that you put on will give you different effects. Like for one, uh, whenever your oxygen runs out, you know, that's pretty much it. You're dead. It's also your oxygen is kind of like your health bar. So every time you take a hit from an enemy, uh, enemy fish or something like that, you'll actually uh, lose oxygen and eventually pass out. Um, but, um, yeah, the, uh, the, I have a charm that I'll actually, uh, whatchamacallit, um, make it to where you don't pass out as soon as you run out of oxygen. Let's see what this gun update for upgrade is. We've got our triple axle, level two. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this weapon, but I'm, a, I'm gonna use it because I saw a sawtooth shark over there. And if we get in close enough, cause that thing is going to stay really close to us. We're gonna be able to shotgun it to death. Anything else over here? No, it doesn't look like it. So if I swim over here... Oh yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to go to those spikes. That'll hurt. What happens if we go this way? What's over here? Again, this, this, oh, there's a boss. 
Oh, not a boss, but like a bigger enemy. And that thing hits really hard. But you can kind of... Wait, how much damage does the thing do? Uh, no. We're gonna... We're gonna stick with what we know. We could try to fight... Oh, God. That... Oh, shit. Does that see us? Hope not. I don't know if I've ever fought one of those. Oh, shit. He sees us. I'm gonna keep swinging away. In hopes that he doesn't follow us. I like to get him caught on corners and stuff if we're gonna fight them. Oh! Maybe with a long distance scooter we actually stand a chance. Oh, so touching you hurts. So we actually killed that, uh, and we are running out of oxygen, but that's okay, because I think we passed an O2 filter back there, and the O2 canisters will actually straight up just give you full oxygen back. So let's see if we can circle back. We even have the scooter that'll actually help us speed along. And I'm going to pick up this uh, red sniper, just because uh, we haven't used one of those before. Boom, full health and over two meter back, and we can keep diving looking for what we're looking for. But you can swap between uh, Harpoon and the weapon at will. Any point in time I want to catch a fish for the sushi restaurant, I'll just aim it, and boom. And these help, the reason why that one didn't die immediately is because um, it had more health points than what I shot it for. But on the second attempt, we managed to dilute. Uh, and uh, like diminish its health points even further. Uh, these right here, we'll call a, a bathosphere, I think that's what they're called, uh, to your position and uh, get you back to the surface ASAP. These red pots right here are different ingredients you can use for cooking. So we found a common cat food. So we don't use the common cat food for cooking per se. Nice. Uh, great Barracuda. So immediately we are already full on items in our menu because uh, Tiger Shark is really heavy. But I'm not going to concern myself with that. We're going to keep on going on our way. Because I'm really more or less going after our objectives, which are the um, microphone. And I believe a tablet. I'm going to go ahead and take this tiger bomb trap. I'm going to swap it out for our oxygen capsule. I don't really think that we're going to... I say this now, but I don't really think we're going to be needing to worry about our oxygen too much. We have a fairly large tank. And I'm going to evade most enemies that are, you know, aggressive fish that are going to be coming our way. What I'm really looking for is an entrance to where we'll find an old sea cave, which I believe is where we're going to look for a tablet that'll help us understand the language a little bit better of the mer people. Let's see if we can, from the sea people record chamber. So there was a way, we already got the amethyst, we're looking for a shipwreck so we can get a microphone, and the entrance to the I think we may have actually gone too far down. 
I believe actually everything we needed was going to be back up here. I could be wrong. Here's a shipwreck, but it's not the the shipwreck. Is there a way up here? There is. Let's see if we can swim against this current and wonder if it clears. Oh no! We got clipped by it and it took us with it. So I'm gonna have to sprint across or kick my little fins as fast as I can to make this. Luckily, it was definitely quick enough. I'm gonna go and... Actually, I'm not gonna do anything. And this game is also very, very story-driven, so there's gonna be a lot of story beats throughout whenever you play. I think down here there might be a chest. Yeah. That's also a silver plate right there. You can find items to sell throughout the game. Some more sensor bombs. Oh, okay. So this actually, these actually you put down and when enemies get near you, they immediately explode. Whereas the other ones you actually trigger yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and swim over here. Go ahead and top off my O2, and we'll head back this way. So the Record Caves is somewhere, uh, like one of the very first locations that uh, you end up going, and that actually will take you, it's like in this ocean, it's where you first meet or find out that there are mer people, essentially. Um, but, you don't meet them at that point in time, but you do see like a mural that pretty much depicts them. So what I think I'm actually gonna end up having to do is maybe go around. Because the map is randomly generated, we're not gonna see a good deal of where we're supposed to be going. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the salt, why not? I'm hoping that our target destination Oh, nice. That was a good shot by us. Enhanced harpoon. Ooh, a level two harpoon. Hey, here's the cave we're looking for. Nice. All right, so we are going the right direction. We're going to go to this new region over here. It's not a new region at all. Surprise, surprise. We've been here before. Any point in time we feel like overloaded, like we could drop something, like this for instance, if I wanted to drop the Great Barracuda that we caught, I could discard it like this. And uh, let's see, is there a place to, yeah, okay, so we're at 48, can we drop, we could potentially drop another Barracuda, but is there something else? We'll go ahead and drop this. And let's see if there's anything else we can drop that's uh, weedy. I go ahead and drop all the tiger fish. And that puts us just a little over what we're supposed to be. Drop some, there we go. This is probably still going to overburden us while we pick up this tablet. <laughs> that's okay. So now all I need to do is find the microphone, which should still be around here somewhere. It says it's underneath a shipwreck. Now I wonder if that's the, you know, we passed by a shipwreck that also had a different zone to it. Maybe that's where we need to go. Luckily for us, it's not far away from where we're at. Matter of fact, I think it's just to the west of our current location. Might as well go pick up the extra ammo. I mean, it's only going to give us one bullet, even though it says three. I'm going to try to get underneath this tiger fin shark, because we're a little slower right now. And, uh... 
Yeah, I do not want to fight that at the moment. Luckily for us, we're still just quick enough to get out of its range. And I am going to slip, swim downward here because I believe that we came across the wreckage just over here. I know we need a hug. There it is. It said the microphone was under a wreckage, so maybe this is it. This is actually where we fought the first boss in the game. Boss battles in this game aren't exactly what you would consider hard, so for those of you who are worried about like difficult encounter type fights, know this. Not, not definitely not like what I would call like a Souls like combat experience. Like this is very Mario esque in the way that it tackles bosses. Um, from what I can tell, like the boss was literally hit this three times, boom, it's dead. There is our microphone. And now we can just head back up to the surface. I'm going to go ahead and oh, top our O2. I'm actually going to end up sprinting here because I think we're right next to a bathosphere. It'll take us back up to the surface. You are allowed to dive twice a day, most days from my understanding, and then you do the sushi uh, restaurant after your dives. So, should have been a bathosphere right here. Or skate pod. I don't know if I'm messing up by saying bathosphere. And just like that, we're out. If you're close enough to the surface and you want to, you can literally just swim up to the surface as well. Here's our scientist friend who's helping us research the mermaids. We're actually helping him. Well, you had to visit uh, you had to visit a lot of places, but you managed to get everything. Now that's what I call lucky. I'll try to use these and make a translator in my lab. I'll need some time to make it. You can go about your business in the meantime. I'll be in touch soon. And off he goes. See people language translator. So he's working on that. We picked up a red sniper rifle. So now uh, we only need to find it one more time and we can be, we can actually craft it for our own use. Here's a log of everything that we found while we were in there. Our biggest fish was a tiger shark. We had a depth of 147 meters. We obtained nine things, caught five things. We stayed underwater for 15 minutes and 25 seconds. And there's some junk items we found at the bottom. Uh, everything we catch right here, we'll put in a basically refrigerator until we head back to the mainland. We'll identify the charm we found. A brace of, uh, you can dash a short distance with the left stick when you click it. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Equip the octopus bracelet to dash short distances with a stick. No oxygen is used, but the gauge needs to fill again for the ability to be reused. Cool. And there's Boncho. That's Boncho Sushi over there. It's the restaurant we run. Here is a box of all of our items as well as our gear that we can swap out if we so choose and here's our friend cobra he has a shop that sells one-time items uh that we can take with us this will actually let us get an escape uh an escape um pod as soon whenever we need um we're not gonna worry about that uh but we did actually cross some things off you get a whole bunch of apps on here and they all do things for you the echo watcher here is basically side quests that we can do whenever we're underwater. Uh, for this one, for instance, we need to collect three more pink seashells and it will give us uh, basically points. And whenever you hit the threshold for those points, you get rewards. So for this one, we get Echo Poison Resist Bracelet. Uh, I essentially mean, think that means that we're resisting against poison from enemies. Um, our eye diver, we have money that we can invest into different facets. Right now, we can only afford to upgrade our diving suit. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And then weapon shop, of course, the triple axle, the basic underwater rifle, and the dark art at our disposal. These two, we're still working on the progress. But that was our first dive. We are now empty. We don't have uh, any more inventory right now because we put it all in the box. So now we're going to go diving for more ingredients, essentially. Uh, you want to try and catch as many fish as you can because you want to take these back to the sushi restaurant so they can be prepared. So immediately, huh, I hear loud noises from over there. I should go check things out. All right, looks over to the right, maybe? Oh, hey, dolphins. Someone's threatening our dolphin friends. Hey, why do you keep bothering these dolphins? So you're the one who keeps interrupting our plans. I can tell just by your silhouette. You need to be taught a lesson. You better be ready. Oh, so it looks like we're in like an enemy fight here. 
which there are enemy fights. Oof. I was just looking to scare them. Oh well, I'll have to see if I can defeat them. All right, so we defeated one. Uh oh. Yeah, we took a hit. Oh, we got that one. Let's try to see if I can actually. All right, that's one defeated. That's two defeated. We need ammo. There's our ammo. That guy shot a fish. Boom. All the poachers down. Uh, we're shooting for the day. You'll hear from us again. There are slight combat elements of the game, as you can tell, but they're not like super serious by any measure. These dolphins over here, I've actually helped them a number of times escape from nets. They're, they're very thankful for our assistance. Oh, look, they made us a little heart. And usually they leave us a nice little treasure. Rusty dolphin necklace. Huh. Oh, that's something like an old charm. I should identify it later. Oh, cool. So we have another charm option. Well, now we can proceed to do what we were going to do anyways. So Let's just go fishing for more stuff. Oh, man. Now we have a baseball bat. You can even charge this one up. And really thwack somebody. Shock Harpoon. Oh, I like this one. It gives our Harpoon an extra little kick. Now, I'm going to try to dive a little bit deeper and find some more uh, bigger fish, essentially. You know, the better high-quality fish are found lower for sushi and whatnot. And the more we find, the more we take back, the better prepared we can make them, the better it is for us and our sales and our sushi restaurant. All right, we got a great barracuda. Nice. And we got another weapon upgrade. That is a hush dart level two. We've already found that one. I'm going to swap back to this one. I like our rifle a little bit better. Go into the limestone cavern. I'm going to see if we can actually kill this angler here. Oh, we alerted him. Really? There we go. Uh-oh, not there we go. Cool. Atlantic Angler. Nice. Uh, we can also go down here. Oh, we have two sources of oxygen down here. We have the clam. We'll top our O2 out. We'll make sure that we're watching out for those spikes. Some jellyfish over there we could end up shooting with our harpoon to take up. Jellyfish are well liked by our patrons. Alright. Just shoot these a number of times and we'll collect that. Uh, anything else in here? Oh, we have another weapon chest. Another hush dart gun. I'm gonna avoid that one. We're right going up and see what we have up here. See some ingredients over there to the left. If I hug this corner, is it gonna blow me up? Good. Okay, I didn't want to go up. We'll keep going down. <gasps> no, 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 no. That could have been dangerous. I don't know how much air we would have lost. But, uh, wouldn't have been great, I'm sure. Oh, we should try that dive, or that dash. Oh, that's a... an okay dash. 
I'm looking for fish, though. What is this little guy? Gray tigerfish, nice. Uh, I can't tell what that thing is to the right of us. I think this is the second time we found the net gun. Flask. Oh, so broken glass, essentially. I will take the samurai sword. And what is this? Some stuff to sell. That's glass over there. That glass really isn't worth much. And I'm really trying to save the inventory of space we have for more fish. Dusky grouper. I think that's the first time we found that. Orange starfish, we need five more to complete our achievement for that one. Sesame seed? What is your bottle of sesame seed at the start of the bottom of the ocean? We should be reaching the depths here soon. There we go. We are officially in the depths. I'm actually... Oh, we need ammo. And we're actually deep enough that we actually had to cut in our lights when we get this low into the ocean. We have a UV light. Nice. UV lights are very handy when you're coming across, you know, tunnels that hide some items. Essentially, the only way to get uh, to certain items is to make some animals or fish run away. A fang tooth. Oh! We got ourselves a ooh, brittle starfish. I think I also want to try to catch this other fish over here that kind of looks like uh, a kite. Where'd he go? Hello. Hello. That's some amethyst over there. If we wanted to get the amethyst, we could totally swap out our katana for this pickaxe and grab the amethyst. We'll go ahead and work on this fish. I think this is pretty good sushi right here. Should be almost caught. The Pacific Fanfish. Now we need to swap to our UV light. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we hold down our tool button, essentially. And when we aim it at those red tentacles, they retract, allowing us to go further in. There's an O2 tank and some more oxygen. This is where we found the mermaids last time. One of them got hurt. Uh, we also found some caves in here, but uh, for luckily for us, or not luckily for us, but uh, for the moment, they're not there and must have sought help elsewhere. I do like the fact that the UV light does recharge over time as you don't use it. I'm going to go ahead and pick up this O2 tank since we have an empty spot on our utility bar. I'm wondering if we get more utility slots as we play. For now, by default, it's just the two that you swap between. What is this right here? Oxygen. Ow, I didn't see that guy. Not gonna lie, I was looking at the thing on the other side. Oh, we are so bad at shooting this thing in the face. We'll swim above this guy. Another O2 tank. 
I'm gonna actually go ahead and take that so we can take that. We have a weapon upgrade here and some bones. Ooh, what is this? A grenade launcher? First time I'm seeing one of those. We also have ourselves a leg bone. I'm not gonna worry about picking that up because we're already pretty much at our capacity. That O2 could come in handy though. What is that thing up there? Uh, I say we try fighting whatever that is. What are these? How are these? How do these come at us? Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about those. Those are electric jellyfish. Let's try this thing out. Hello, friend. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior grenade to the face? Alright, I'm gonna go pick up our weapon that we had over here. It was over here. Yeah, okay. He, we lost him. Luckily for us, we still have eight shots left in the rifle. And for luckily for us as well... He ain't, uh, he ain't super dangerous. We're about to go overweight hard. Grilled shark meat. All right. Now we're heavily encumbered. But I mean, that's essentially what we wanted to do was find a lot of good recipes under the water, which is exactly what we did. So now I can find myself a bath sphere or a skate pod. You can get out of here and go back to Bancho's and prepare some sushi. As you go further underwater, if you're not prepared for it, you will uh, use more oxygen. But we have a pretty high... Uh-oh. Can we stay away from those guys? Uh -uh. Get away from me. They don't see me. Not yet. But I'm thinking I'll take this stream that's being pushed. This will take me where I need to go, I think. Nice. Oh! An ingredient. We can't pick up the ingredient. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. And he's going upwards. Oh my god, we're being pincered. Okay, he's choosing to go another direction. Let him go the other direction. Just don't look up. Can you not look up? Turn around. Go down. He's going, where's he going? Whatever you do, don't turn around. Just mind my own business. Alright. Oh, we're out of there. Okay, that could have been really terrible. But that sound was. I wanna say there's a there's gotta be a bath sphere nearby. Oh a pink uh pink starfish. I need to pick up this actually. Can I drop another seashell? I'd rather have the pink starfish. It won't let me pick up the pink starfish. Sad. Alright, we'll go ahead and pull up our escape pod. 
get out of here. I think this was still fairly successful. I know I'm probably not making this look like the most exciting gameplay in the world because it is relaxing, but like it's fun relaxing whenever you finally get through the entire loop of it, like an entire day. Here's all the ingredients that we have and how much meat you got from each one. I'm going to say that's a pretty good pull. What's a dolphin amulet do for us? Increases dash speed by 30%. Ooh. Nice. You can wear the dolphin necklace to move faster. Keep in mind the auction will be used up faster. That's actually, I think that's better than the, um, the dash brace, the, the, the one that like pushes us forward real fast. Uh, Dave, are you busy? Not at the moment. What is it? We have a strange customer at the sushi bar. Can you come over for a moment? As the manager, this is something I can't overlook. I'll come over right away. Looks like we have ourselves a noisy customer. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Bancho Sushi. Looks like we can't sell any of our items right yet. I should have sold some of it earlier. We'll go over here to the boat and head on over to the sushi restaurant and see what all this fuss is about. Who is this guy? Uh, so before we get into this guy right here, this is Bancho Sushi. This is the restaurant that we help manage. We have Bancho back there who makes the sushi. He is a great chef. We have different menus down here at the bottom. There's the interior option that lets you customize different uh, facets of the restaurant if you so choose. Not entirely necessary, but it is something you have options to. These are all the ingredients that we currently have at our disposal at the moment, which uh, we have plenty of. Uh, we also have staff. Uh, first, it's just you, but as you level up at your restaurant, you get more notoriety basically via Facebook looking posts. You can hire different servants to help you do things or you know, hire employees, not servants. Wow, that just sounds really awful. You can hire employees to do things uh, such as these two women down here. Uh, they are good at serving people whenever Bancho gets done um, procuring food or whatever, chopping up the sushi for everybody, preparing it. And then we have Yusuke back in the kitchen as well. He's back there helping him prepare that fish. Uh, then we have our research. Uh, as you progress through and uh, you have good nights, you get artisanal flame from Bancho from doing such a great job. And then you can go and research new recipes. And then it's always a uh, like um, followed by a cool little cutscene. Let's see what happens here. And I'm gonna be honest, I I thoroughly enjoy every little cutscene. They're not very long. They're all pretty awesome. And then there's the menu. So whenever you go to the menu, it's going to be empty. It's also displayed up there, right above me at the little plus signs right there. Uh, this is empty. And if you have no sushi up there, it creates the most basic sushi back there at Bancho's. It's not very good sushi. So you wanna to try to make sure the, uh, the menu only has, has items listed on it. You do that by pressing on the menu. Uh, you can offer, or people can ask for green tea or beer, and you actually have a mini game where you pour them the correct amount of green tea or beer. And based off of that, they can you know give different reactions to how the sushi tastes. And then you come over here to the menu. You can go over here and you just add different elements to the menu. Uh, right now, I have enough of the ingredients here for the white trevally to add in. Looks like I have only enough to make one. So, I mean, just one patron is gonna have enough to get that one. We also have frilled shark meat. We can choose to enhance it. If we enhance it, uh, it's going to take a number of that sushi and make it an even a better version. And this is probably my favorite Bancho cutscene. I just, I love that cutscene so much. And then it enhances the flavor and the quality and the price of the sushi itself. So we'll come over here and we are gonna just like Put that on the menu now if you want to you can actually save some of this fish whatever you don't use or if you swap something off and you decide to change your mind you actually dispose of that sushi at the end of the night uh, and it's basically just wasted money so you want to make sure that you're not oversaturating your menu with 
you know, um, too much. I'm gonna go ahead and do a level three here, and I'm gonna put like four on there. Uh, and then, uh, let's see what else we can do to spice up the menu. I'll do two Feng Tooth. And we'll do uh, two Tiger Fish. All right, and that's all the spots we have until we have a gold rank or higher. Uh, that should be plenty of fish right now. Uh, as the uh, as the uh, in patrons come in and they order fish, the menu, uh, the number of fish off the menu will deplete. When something is completely removed off, at any point in time, you can actually pause and add a new fish sushi option to the menu so that there's always items on it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this patron here and see what's up. Why is he so noisy and rowdy? Uh, ah, who dares interrupt me? Uh, I'm sorry, we're not open yet. You can't come in like this. Uh, well, aren't you strict? I was simply saying a few words. I haven't been to the beach in a while and it brings back old memories. <laughs> I was an amazing diver before I took a harpoon in the knee. So you were a diver. I'm also a diver. <laughs> then you must know the diver's dream of swimming in all the seas of the world. <laughs> Forests of coral, pods of sperm whales, fights to the death of tiger sharks. Mm. Mm. That brings to a mind a dish I'd really love to eat. <laughs> what dish do you mean? Mm. When I was a little, when I was little, the moray eel curry at my fishing village was famous. Mm. I can't forget its taste. Uh, if you can make the dish, perhaps I'll give you a nice gift. <laughs> mm. Mm. Moral eel, um, moray eel curry. <laughs> Moray eels hide in the rocks, making them difficult to catch. How do you get one? Uh, mm, you know how to dive, but you don't know much of the uh, uh, ecology, do you? Uh -huh. Moray eels are nocturnal and only come out at night. <laughs> do you have gear for night diving? Uh, I did get a flashlight recently. Uh, but... That should do just fine. <laughs> moray eels are nocturnal. Please go night diving and catch a moray eel to fulfill my wish. Mm. Mm, I haven't gone diving at night for a while. Maybe I'll try it. You can now dive once every night. There are many vicious nocturnal fish out at night, but you'll also see exotic fish. Always pay attention to the sushi bar's opening hours. So, I don't think we can go now. Uh, he doesn't actually need the fish to be happening now, but like at the same time, um, He'll come up every night until we find the thing that he wants. So we're going to go ahead and open the Bancho Sushi and start serving our patrons. I also learned something last time, that there's wasabi there at the end of the counter. That wasabi has to stay, stay uh, stocked, essentially, at all times. Or else you can't serve the sushi you want to serve. Oh, we got some green tea over here. And then you just pour it in. And if you pour in the right amount, they're going to enjoy their offerings more. You also have a, a run. Oh, I just barely made it. Let's see if I can run down to the beer person real quick. Okay, uh, we need to get to this beer person real quick, and then we need to make our way to the... Sushi down there. Okay, and let's go clear some of these plates real quick. And hopefully our guys are taking care of our customers as they need to. We are out of sushi options here. So let's go ahead and swap out our sea grapes, uh, sea grapes jellyfish sushi for something else. We got. We'll put two of those up there. Yep, and we will replace those. Our tiger sushi is out, so we'll also replace that. You also want to pay attention to your time because we are almost closed. And then we'll clean up everything else. I think it was a pretty successful night. See, I really enjoy that mini game. And here's our profits for the night. We did 2,078 in sales. 
and you got 85 likes of 100, and that, that 100 will give us the next rank. And that's pretty much the routine. You go fishing, you do story during the day, and then at nighttime you do Bancho Sushi, but now we can do nighttime fishing. Phew, I tried to do it alone, but it was tough. I got a bit of help from Duff. Thanks to his help, we can now translate your words into the Sea People's language as well. Wow, I'm curious to know what they have to say as well. I'll first make my way back to the Sea People's location. So now we do that, we can go on another day, and we can go on trying to find the Sea People. Huh, what is it? I spent some quality time with Lace Chan and did some quiet thinking. I realized that paying people back for help perceives what was a noble master would do. Tell me, Dave, are you satisfied with your guns? Hmm, they're fine. It'd be nice if they were stronger, though. Huh, I guess it's time I stepped in the spotlight, so to speak. I'll help you enhance your guns. Enhance them? How do you do that? Huh, it's about making them stronger or imbuing elements like poison or electricity. There's only one thing you need to remember, though. Only guns that have been created can be enhanced. I speak at the risk of sounding obvious. Oh, I see. Gun enhancements. That sounds pretty useful. Enough. You're a cooler person than I thought. But what are you saying? I'm just trying to be the best master I can for Phileas Chan. I think I've provided adequate explanations. Back to the world of pixies for me. Goodbye, Eternity. You can now enhance your guns at Duff's weapon shop. Collect various materials and gun fragments and make your weapons more powerful. All right. I'm going to go here and go to the shop real quick. Uh, and I'm going to sell some stuff because I'm sure there's stuff I can sell. Like, for instance, this right here says I can sell this. We only got one, but that's going to give us a little bit of money. Flasks are not going to be useful for anybody. Little starfish. A lot of these will say that they are used for weapon enhancement, obviously. So I'm not going to worry about that. But if there's something that we don't need, or if it says it's a value then I am more than happy to sell or part with certain things. Uh, but you also got to be careful about what you sell because it could uh, come into uh, interference with completing some of our missions here. Uh, like, I have a lot of red starfish if I wanted to. I'd probably get rid of some of my red starfish. Let's see. I'm going to hold off on that. Uh, and Cooksta is basically our Instagram for our fish. We can go ahead and look at all the ranking, uh, or, uh, like the posts that people make. And come in here and give them a big old like. And because I help run this business, of course I'm going to come in here and do my part. And uh, obviously we're also looking at our rankings. We are currently shooting for gold. We have best taste. We are about 15 shy on our followers. And then we have, oh, there's two more rankings above this one. And here's our page that so we can look at all the stuff. Uh, we can also call people we need to, and then we can also go into our weapon store. I can press square to upgrade. And it looks like we actually have like a skill tree it asks us to collect different things in order to imbue our rifles. I didn't even know you can have a fire gun. That's pretty funny. Uh, what about... So, same thing. Wait. How do you... How do you swap between weapons? Do I have to have craft this for the first time or something? Oh, I think I do. Yeah. Oh, the cutscenes are pretty great. No, I'm not going to equip that, but I am going to look at it. Okay, so now we have the option to upgrade it even further if we wanted to. If only we had all the right materials. Looks like we have another little notch to add on to our belt for things that we need to upgrade here. Let's go ahead and make the hush dart as well, because I would like to see what options we have. Do it, Duff. What a beautiful, beautiful 
uh, whatchamacallit, um, cutscene. It looks like we have an enhanced dart and enhanced touch dart too. And that just increases the magazine size since it's originally just three. All right. And now we're free to go back in the ocean. Uh, and also, whenever you collect uh, the animals, you'll also be collecting uh, essentially Pokemon cards. You got to catch them all. Got to fish them all, actually. Sorry, I see the top in there. There's different biomes with different fish that do different things. Uh, as you find them, you can even uh, find the rare cards as well. Let's uh, let's try let's try going in the water. Actually, I want to swap out my charm. Uh, increases dash speed, and then I'm not. Uh... Yeah, I'll equip this one. Actually, there we go. And then we can uh, swap out our weapons. I'm gonna go back with our basic underwater rifle. We don't have any melee weapons, unfortunately. Uh, but we do have lots of money now. I can um, effectively look to increase certain things about our character. I'm going to go with... Yeah. We're going to get some more weight on us. And I'm also going to get a better harpoon gun. What was that next level? Shark harpoon gun? Dang! All right, let's go diving. Now we're going to go see if we can find uh, those mer people. And that's how we'll end the episode, was uh, see the little story beats since we've been talking about them, but yet you guys haven't seen them at all. So we're going to try to find them deeper in the water. But it looks like we have another story event happening. Oh, look at that whale! Nice humpback whale. Whoa, it's a humpback whale. It's so big that it makes the blue hole look smaller. That is pretty gnarly. I like the dynamic things like that happen. That's pretty cool. Bye, Mr. Whale. I'll call you Gregory. We'll see you later, Gregory. All right, so there are some invasive fish I saw. Sleepy Toy Hammer. Chance to immediately tranquilize at the cost of only doing one damage, which means you're going to hurt big time. Go ahead and take those guys out. You can now disassemble guns, harpoon tips, and other weapons. Use the weapon fragments acquired from disassembling to request stuff to enhance your weapons. <gasps> Ooh, we can... Oh, that's awesome! Oh, I really like that. Definitely want to work on... Uh, oh, definitely want to work on disassembling then. And picking up these random fragments, it'll help us increase our weapons. We'll dive deeper. Oh, that is a pretty good dash speed, too. I like that. A 30% additional dash speed works out real nice. We got ourselves a lightning harpoon tip. Ooh, I kind of like that. Let's take that, and then we'll disassemble this one. What do we get from it? Fragment 3. I like that. We'll hit this rock here. Collect some lead ore. And keep on making our way down. I hope I did that right. It looked like I was doing it right. Alright, so we also have a sonar. We're trying to make it back to where we were before. I don't know if I'm doing that right. Matter of fact, I'm almost certain I'm not. Ooh, scooter. Let's see if we can shoot one of these.
I do like the chain lightning. Oh, we're, we're getting a pretty good bit of uh, fish weight on us, so we need to be careful about what we pick up, essentially. So I'm going to hold off and pick anything up uh, in case we run into like any sharks or whatever, because that's definitely going to be really good for us. I'm sure ore also didn't help. Um... Go ahead and disassemble this for more fragments. I do like the fact that this assembly was added in or is now part of like the gameplay loop. Now that we're underwater, we need to be on the lookout for a UV flashlight for our character. Let's go ahead and take this. We also have, oh. The thing hits us. Nice. Alright, UV flashlight. Nice. That should make it easier to get to where we need to go. Uh, we see shell. It's not going to be that one. We want to try to find a cave that's closer over here to the right. There is an escape pod for us. Nice. And I believe the entrance is going to be right below us. Go ahead and take a trigger bomb. I'll replace our scooter with that one. Yes, it is. Okay, nice. This should be where the mer people are at. And underwater scooter. I'm not going to worry about that one. Hmm. Let's try out the Sea People Translator doctor from Dr. Bacon and see how it works. Hmm. Uh, can you hear me? What? How is a human speaking our language? An interesting creature. His body looks different from that of humans we occasionally see. Well, in any case, right, I should introduce myself. My name is Swam. Among us low dwellers, oh, you can call us sea people, right? You can say I'm the bravest and the coolest male among them. Um, Swam, nice to meet you. I'm Dave. <laughs> Dave. In our language, your name sounds very similar to Broken Toilet Lid. What is with this creature? In any case, the person lying here is the daughter of the Sea People Village Chief, Ramo. Ever since being kidnapped by that stupid giant squid, she has been unconscious. If I had known about it a little earlier, I'd have shown that squid a thing or two. Don't get a big head for defeating that insignificant squid human. I am the one that guards Ramo. You really are a noisy one. In any case, you seem to have, said, uh, have something to say. What is it? Oh, about that? In order to allow Rama to recover, we need some med medicinal herbs. I'm unable to leave as I must stay and look after her. Human, you must acquire some medicinal herbs to help Rama recover. The feather coral and lily coral grow in these parts. Make them edible and bring them to me. Make them edible? How do I do that? That's for you to figure out, human. Go find a chef to help you or something. Hmm. She's ill, so I can't refuse her help. Feather coral and lily coral, huh? I guess I'll take a look around first. All right. So it looks like we are now a mission to try to save the princess here by making some herbs for her. Another thing I like about the game is that whenever you're on a quest and you're looking for a specific object, they uh, highlight them for you. When you get close enough, they put a little blue diamond shape over them. So we'll keep diving around here, seeing if we can find any of the things that he was asking for. Oh, I see, I see. It's a timing game. And I'm messing it up hardcore. There we go. Okay, I get it now. So you press X at the, the timely fashion. I got it. Uh, I am going to swap. Actually, no, I'm going to keep Tiger Bomb. Because uh, we may be running into a big fish here soon. Uh, nothing over here. 
But we have two other paths I saw. I am not going to worry about taking the pickaxe with us. Actually, you know what? We have the basic knife. It'll be fine. We could take the amethyst if we truly... You know what? We will take the amethyst. I know I'm backtracking a lot of things I say, but I'm trying to consider all my options. Alright, so this amethyst. Now we should probably find one of these other tunnels over here and see if this will help us get to the coral that we need. Alright, so now we're even deeper. Oh shit, that's an opa. It looks like a sunfish. This is the first time I've seen one in person. Maybe I'll take a picture as a souvenir. Uh oh. Is it going to come back? Yes! Oh. We can retake it. Nope. I want to do this again. Come on, I can get it. Come on, fishies, come on back. Come on, you gotta do better than that. Intersect, fishies. There's one. Yes! We got him. Okay. All right, so we got that, and then we got our... Oh, we found our feather coral. Nice. And it looks like we have our other one right below us. A weapon upgrade? Ooh, nice. Um, actually, yeah. I think I do want to do that. Uh-oh. Out of my way, dude. <laughs> Downed him. I don't think we've fought this one before. Mega Mouth Shark. There we go. And now we can go ahead and disassemble this. And we should be able to make our way back up top. We need to find ourselves a bathosphere. Let me go ahead and swap this out real quick. Take that. Pick this up. And make our way back out to the surface. I'm definitely glad I opted to get the bigger oxygen tank. There we go. And luckily for us, we're next to an escape pod. Can we grab this? Yes, we can. Excellent. And back up to the surface we go. It seems like I got everything the fussy half fish asked for. Speak with the sea people completed. You want me to make this coral edible, right? Mm -hmm. I'll have to ask Bancho for help. So cool, we're super close to being able to forge the grenade launcher.
And we got plenty of ingredients while we were down there, so that's good. Oh, you bought a picture you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Oh, an Opa. Did you know that the Opa is warm blooded? Oh, I think I've heard about it. It's amazing some fish species are warm blooded. The ocean is full of mysteries. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Oh, sweet, we got bonus gold from getting the bonus option. There are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for help and keep up the good work. All right, so if we want to, we can opt to go fishing again. Uh, we can also go in here and sell anything we have or see what else he has. Um, was there anything that we picked up used to enhance weapons? A lot of the stuff we got is used to enhance weapons, nothing for selling. Uh, did we mark anything off of our Echo Watcher list? No, we're still kind of shy in a couple things. We need to take out one more tiger fish. We'll get 20 points for that one. We need to remove another jellyfish. That one's at the top of the ocean. And weapon shop. Do we have anything we can craft or upgrade now? Ooh, we do have an upgrade option here. I am going to go ahead and just straight out craft the under rifle, uh, underwater rifle too. What is the base damage of this gun? 15? And this doubles it almost? Well, doubles it in, and some. Nice. I like that. I, I just, I love those little cutscenes. They're so short. All right. Well, that is Dave the Diver. That's kind of look-see about what the game is about. I went on for about an hour and 15 minutes just showing you a little bit of gameplay. Sorry if it was slow there in parts. Obviously, I'm still delving into the game myself, being in the early hours of it. But I got to playing this yesterday, and time escaped me. I couldn't find a time to set it down. And the next thing I knew, like three, four hours had passed by with me just swimming around the water. It's pretty awesome. That being said, if you like the content and you want to see more games like Dave the Diver here on the channel, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. As always, I hope everyone has a fantastic, fantastic day, and I will catch you all in the next episode. Later.